want to start you right off with the Skycast, take you through the next 24 hours. As far as showers and thunderstorms are concerned, we're done with them for the night tonight. Into early tomorrow morning, I do expect mostly clear skies. That should allow for plenty of sunshine to start you off on your Friday. Keep in mind, though, despite how sunny it may look tomorrow morning, grab the jacket because you're likely going to need it through the first half of the day. Temperatures tomorrow noticeably cooler than they were out there today by 3 o'clock. We'll start to thicken the clouds up once again. Winds shift out of the east, and what that's going to do is take some of the moisture out across the central U.S., push it right up along the front range. That's going to set the stage for a few more scattered showers and thunderstorms as we take you into the afternoon and into tomorrow evening. The good news is that the storm should just be your run of the mill thunderstorms. I don't expect to get any severe weather again tomorrow, so definitely some good news there. By 7 o'clock, the focus for the showers and storms will be up along the Palmer Divide and northward toward Denver. These showers may last well into the first part of tomorrow night by 11 o'clock, still looking at a few scattered showers. Keep in mind, this rain is going to be hit or miss, so there is a chance that unfortunately we may have some soggy football games tomorrow night. We'll keep a close eye on that potential, though. Stick with your Storm Tracker 13 weather team through the day. We will continue to keep you ahead of the storms. By 8 o'clock Saturday morning, may have a few low clouds, even some patchy drizzle out across the far eastern plains, but that is about it. Saturday afternoon, once again, we'll have another round of storms, though, to contend with. Low temperatures tonight, 40s and 50s along and east of I 25, with 20s and 30s up across the high country. High temperatures tomorrow, not bad, just not quite as warm as it was today. About 10 degrees cooler in Colorado Springs tomorrow, 70. Six in Pueblo with temperatures hitting the 80 degree mark in La Junta. Falling just short of it, though, in Lamar, 71 will be your high temperature in Alamosa. Taking you closer into the Pueblo area, we'll hit 73 in Wetmore, 74 in Penrose, Texas Creek, 71 degrees. Monument tomorrow in the upper 60s. Briargate also in the upper 60s, 70 in Colorado Springs, with a mixture of 50s and 60s around Teller County. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, we will warm the temperature up a handful of degrees by Saturday. 74 will be your high temperature. Another chance for storms Saturday afternoon, we'll keep an eye out for that. A beautiful day for another Broncos victory on Sunday. 80 degrees here in Colorado Springs. We should see plenty of sunshine, though, from the springs all the way up toward Denver. 82 on Monday with temperatures staying in the 80s Tuesday, and then we'll fall back into the mid to upper 70s Wednesday and Thursday. In Pueblo, 76 degrees tomorrow, 80 degrees on Saturday. We'll keep 80s in place all the way through the first part of next week. We'll dry it out Sunday, Monday. We'll keep dry conditions in place through Tuesday. Canyon City, 73 tomorrow. We'll hit 76 on Saturday. We are going Going to dry out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday as high pressure moves back in, but our next storm system is going to slide through by the middle of next week, bringing yet another cool front our way. 78 degrees will be your high temperature by next Thursday. In Teller County, 60 tomorrow, 64. Then on Saturday, we'll keep 60s in place for one more day. 70s are back though Monday and Tuesday before temperatures fall back into the 60s. So we will have a again decent chance for a few scattered storms tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that we'll get the bulk of that moisture to move.